What's up guys? Graham here playing Marksman. And yes, this is pretty much the baddest build in the game right now. Marksman is just awesome. If I was geared out on this character, oh man, the devastation I could do. But uh, if you guys are wanting to know how to play Marksman, I have a build video which uh, I'm sure I'll link at the end of this Warfront. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is kind of one of those weird situations where it's just uh, like a ranged fight, good old fashioned. Let's see who can DPS the most and make the healers burn out their cooldowns, and eventually one side will take over the other after a, a long, grueling battle of attrition. Oh, the joy! But. My damage is pretty good because Marksman is just so good, but it could be a lot better. Man, I am basically just waiting until um, until the the gear upgrade. Whenever Warmonger gear comes out, I am saving up all of my PvP boxes. I'm not opening up any of them. I'm not even upgraded any of my gear I'm basically pay, uh, playing with very bad gear on all of my characters except for my warrior my warrior has pretty good gear um, he's definitely not top geared out he's not in all frenetic gear or drown profit or any of that but he is good enough geared that you know I don't have any room to complain on him uh, but the other ones are all suffering the the rogue, the cleric, the mage, and the primalists all have terrible gear. And so with Warmonger gear being right around the corner, I am holding off on opening up any of my boxes. I'm saving up all of my Abyssal Crusader marks. Uh, saving up my favor, you know, basically letting it get close to cap and going ahead and buying some favor infused accelerators because they are used on some of the upgrades uh, yeah basically you want to save up the favor infused accelerators your uh, abyssal crusader marks and that's going to be the two main things to upgrade your gear uh, besides of course the warmonger marks that's going to be coming out and you need favor in order to buy those so oh I thought he was on me I was like no but, um, yeah, I got Helios and Escadora in this match with me, which uh, I've gotten to where I really appreciate good healers. So I, I am trying my best to... I still solo queue a lot. Don't, don't get me wrong on that. That's just my normal play style. I get on, I try to queue, hurry up and queue up and get a match in here and there. Uh, but... Uh, if I have any preparation time and if some of my friends are online that can heal me that I know are good healers I will try to get them into groups with me and Helios is definitely a very good healer but he's healing the whole group I, everybody knows never to pocket heal me but I do want decent heals uh, there's so many times that you actually have some healers on your team, which you're like, oh, thank goodness we got heals. And then they're never healing you. It's like, man. You know, that's the difference between good healers and just having healers. So, yeah, Helios is uh, hopefully going to be throwing some heals my way and taking good care of me. It looks like he is. Ah, come on, man. What's the point of knocking me back, dude? There's tons of people hitting you. How come me? How come it's gotta be me? But man, uh, so I'm saving up my PvP boxes right now and I'm going to open them all up once the new gear comes out because the minimal gear that comes out of the PvP boxes is going to be Dream Breaker quality, which is better than anything I have on any of my characters except for my warrior. So none of my characters are even at Dream Breaker level pretty much. So I'm like stockpiling all these boxes and trying to build up Abyssal Crusader marks. And I'm really putting a lot of uh, gameplay in to try to be as awesome as I can once the gear upgrade comes. Uh, hopefully I can be. Uh, but I'm, I'm really hating being at a disadvantage on gear on all of my characters. 
It's it's very frustrating because you you know you're playing a spec like overpowered marksman, and then you're not doing all that great of damage like you see some other marksmen doing. It's like come on man, got to get the gear, dude. And for those of you that say gear isn't a big deal, you're out of your mind. Gear is such a big deal. Having every piece of your gear have like, you know, over a hundred of the primary stat and all this attack power and crit power and all that stuff. Man, gear is such a big deal. Damn. Just tearing into these guys. This is how every white fall step match ends up being, doesn't it? You know, one side just overtakes the other and then it starts into the farming kills part. Where you're like, oh, a person, let's chase them. <laughs> no, I'm not that brave. Because I can't take that much of a hit. But yeah, I am just loving these burst classes, man. I am loving playing Marksman, Nightblade, uh, Paragon, uh, Vulcanist, uh, just, you know, Pyromancer. I, I'm not all that good at Pyromancer. I, I'm, I just don't play it enough, and I've got to get used to it. But whenever I do play it, I have fun because you blow people up. It's like the biggest uh, kill stealing class ever. And it's fun stealing kills, basically. And it's fun blowing people up. So Pyromancer is, is the whole bundle in one right there. But I'm just not very good at it. I, I got to get better. All right, so... Well... We're running in a bunch of stones here. Looks like we got thieves, so but where is it? Okay, there he is. I was about to say he wasn't showing up on my screen. Let's go ahead and return this and that should be game. Yeah. Pretty nice. We've just been killing everybody, getting good heals. Everything's good. <laughs> I'm not playing with all those people. All of our people are running in the stones. I'm not going out there and like 2v and 10 or whatever it is. Alright, let's see how we did here. It was total annihilation, you know. That's that's just how Marksman is. 11 and 0. Alright, top kills. Very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, like button, and as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.